Okay, now we're going to use uh, Ventoy to create a bootable USB, that's Legacy Plus UFI, to boot into the Windows P PX Pixie environment, um, which will allow us to run, <coughs> run the scripts to install um, our master copy of Windows 10, um, master or reference copy. Um, and we're going to use Ventoy, download it from here, which I've already done. Uh, unzip it and place it somewhere suitable and run Ventoy to disk. Okay, so it's found a, um, a, a, a USB, it says it's 128 gigabytes, uh, but from experience, I found actually, although it's advertised 128, you get a little bit less by the time you've um, formatted it. I've got 114. Now this is key because when we um, well, the two of them running when we um, create the partitions we're going to preserve some space at the end of the drive. Now this is where the um, master images are going to go. <clears throat> They're pretty big so we want as much as possible. So from 114 I reckon um, we need to preserve about about 100 so I'm going to put 100 gigs in there so unlike Rufus which sort of did it the other way around and you could you could figure out how much you were actually going to use um, this one you really do need to do some sums so there we go um, then we're going to do the exfat and just do it so now I'm going to install um, Ventoy. Okay, we'll wait till that's done. Yeah, successfully finished. And let's have a look for it. There we are. So we've now got um, about 14 gigs of. <clears throat> XFAT for, for Ventoy and about 100 gigs for, for our images. Right, um, next thing to do is to format that to um, for an, an um, we use all of it, get the drive letter, and we're going to use NTFS and the volume label that we're going to use is images because that's where the images are going to go. Do it quick. Okay. Okay, now we need to copy a few files into the Ventoy partition. Um, <clears throat> get these from here. Plug in. This one. Okay, so we're going to copy the whole uh, directory. Paste it into here. Okay, next thing we need is um, Ventoy Winboot, the plugin. So we get it from here and it goes into the directory called uh, Ventoy in the Ventoy part uh, partition. So I've already downloaded that. There, copy that, and I'm also going to copy this um, new version of Ventoy. Um, I'll put that in the comments so that uh, you can use it. Stick that in the Ventoy directory. So we want to replace the, the file in the directory. Um, the next thing is in here. Theme. Well, first of all, this is what this looks like. It's saying for theme, use the theme in theme. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, in here, I'm just going to modify this. It's currently using background.png. Um, so, I'm going to change that to my favorite, which is Lake. I've copied that in as well. I'll have to copy that in as well. And the title text. Um, 
rather than just blank, we'll call it sort of um, USB Vento menu. Right, save that. Okay, so that's the um, the Ventoid uh, directory sorted. Um, now what we have to do is on the um, images directory. So now we just need to copy the um, reference images and the startup scripts, the menu and things, into the images partition. Okay, and we're ready to go. Now that was actually quite a bit of configuration because Ventoy is renowned for being um, very easy to set up. It basically creates the menu from anything that's in the Ventoy um, partition. And we're going to give it a boot, our boot.wim that we uh, modified in at least um, part 38. Uh, so we'll just have to go and get that um, from a previous um, a previous USB. So here it is. I'm going to copy that. And we're just going to paste it straight into the partition. And it will come up on the menu. Um, is it finished? Now it will come up in the menu as boot.wim. So the best thing to do here is rename it into something like uh, Windows 10 installers. Say. Right, now all that remains is to fire up the trusty test machine and have a go at this. Okay, here we go. And there's the menu with um, the boot.wim that we dropped into it. So, that's the only thing that actually works at the moment. Let's give that a go. So that's not any quicker than um, Grub, but uh, the, the progress bar is really nice. So, that's going to start up WinPE. There we go. And I'll just skip this bit. There we go. It's, it's looking for the partition with images on it. And as soon as it finds that, it will switch to it. And there's the menu. Okay, so that's Ventoy.